The Off Canvas is finally here with Elemental Pro version 3.22 and I strongly recommend you go and have a look at it. I think this is going to slowly remove the need for us to start using pop-ups, especially with an Off Canvas menu. And if you definitely care about your SEO, and why did I say definitely? Because you definitely should care about your SEO. You want to be using the Off Canvas widget, the new one with Elemental, rather than the old Off Canvas pop-up method, which wasn't great for your SEO. Let me quickly show you how you do it. Go over and make sure you've got Elemental Pro 3.22. Do a search for off canvas, grab the widget and just drag it. Now, the great thing about this is you can just drag it. It doesn't really matter where it goes. My recommendation would be that if you're going to use this, drop it into either a header template or maybe somewhere near the top of the page so you always remember where it is. So what I had was a couple of just fake sections on my page. And as soon as I drop it, I get this now white area. And if we go to the navigator, you'll see it here. So here I have my container and I have my second fake container. And into here, I've gone and dropped in my off canvas. The off canvas widget already contains inside of there a container. But what it's done is it's added in a background overlay. Basically, if I haven't kind of made it clear, the off canvas widget is what you would have done with a pop up template. You would have made a pop up template and then you would have stuck an icon or something on the page and you would summoned it to open the pop up. The trouble is that the pop up wasn't actually on your page. It's kind of a template somewhere in your system. So if you had a WordPress menu on there and it's got the, you know, the menu nav tag attached to it. Because it's off canvas, so it's not actually on your page until you summon it. When it comes to SEO, your menu is no longer there. From an SEO point of view, that is rubbish. Whereas now, because you've actually dropped the off canvas widget onto your page, even though you might not view it or see it until you go and click an icon or a header or even a button, and I'm going to show you that, it is on the page. So from an SEO point of view, you are now ticking all the boxes. Anyway, we got the off canvas widget on and it automatically uh, has got the editing mode activated. I could undo that. So now you can't see it. You do that. It is now back again. So if you want to see the other contents on your page because you're building out your page, you could do that. It's really, really simple and easy to use. So we have a background overlay added. I could position this in the middle, left or right. We're going to leave it on the left. If I was to make this have a custom height, I could then decide if it was going to be on the top, middle or bottom. I'm going to get rid of that and we'll just leave it as the full height. You can also adjust the width of it as well. So if you wanted to have a particular size, you can basically control it. I mean, this is just like a holder and then you have the container inside that's going to contain all your widgets. I'm not going to spend too long on the settings here because there isn't really a huge amount. I mean, other than you have the fact you can modify the overlay background or add in an image, you could change some of the colors here. And on the content, if you go to setting, you can decide on what kind of animation you're going to have when it slides in. Why did I say slide in? when it appears on your screen. So you may want to go with like fade in left and on the exit will go with fade out left as well. So when it appears, it kind of fades in or you could have slide as well. And that's exactly what I've done. I do think that the 1.5 is a bit too slow. I would go with 0.5 or 0.4 or even 0.3. I think 1.5 is a bit slow because it'll be like you click here and you might click again thinking, where is it? So I think 0.5 is better. Um, you may want to decide that they have to like click an X button or a close button to close it. Or do you want them to click on the overlay? You do have the options there for you, you know, close on escape, disable page scrolling. But let's just get on to actually adding in items. OK, so into here, you can add whatever you want. I've clicked on the container inside of the off canvas. I can add my heading. I could go and add in some text editor. I could go and add in the WordPress menu. I'm going to make it be vertical and I'm going to say there is no breakpoint. Because if you have a breakpoint, and I'm going to show you this, if I put it back on to say, no, we'll go for tablet. And I now put this onto mobile view. Do you really want the toggle there? Of course not. So I'm going to say none so that we can still see the menu, how it looks, whether you're on the mobile or the desktop. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because you can do what you want here. This is a container. You want to add a background image. You want to add an overlay. You want to add some animation into there. You want to add a video. You want to add loads of social sharing icons. You want to add in a product. You want to add in a loop grid. You can do what you want. All right. This off canvas is basically a pop up template in a way, but it's easier to build. And here's why you build a pop up template in your template. And then you go and summon it by clicking on an icon or a button. Okay. You would normally go open pop up. 
Then you wanted to modify that pop-up. You would have to go back into the pop-up template so you might have another tab open. I can now just do it here and wherever I want. So if, so if that pop-up appears on this page or the off-canvas widget, and I suddenly go, oh, I want to change the color now, I can just do it. Now, the downside to this, though, is that this is going to summon the off-canvas widget that's on this page. So if I was on another page, say the contact form, and I wanted to summon the same widget, it ain't going to happen unless that widget is on the page. So that's where you want to use a pop-up template. However, if you stuck it into your header template, then it could summon it. So you have to play around with it. But anyway, look, let's say you've gone and built this out. One thing you have to bear in mind, though, I don't know if I made it clear, is that you do have the option to close on overlay or escape, but there is no close button here. So here's my big tip for you. Go and grab an icon, add it, and then go and stick it at the top of your container. Do something like that. Let's go and move it to the right. I'm then going to go and change this with the word times. And I'm going to go for this one over here and I'm going to click insert. And then I'm just going to restyle it to be something like that. What we're going to do is make this close this particular off canvas widget. And I am going to show you how we can open it. I mean, I haven't spent loads of time building this out just because it's just a container at the end of the day. But I think it is massively powerful as to what you can do, especially from an SEO point of view, because now your menu is going to get picked up. Whereas the pop up template, it was not visible until you summon it. Anyway, let's click on that icon. We're going to go to content over here where we have the link. We have the dynamic tag. Click that. Scroll down and you will see off canvas. You would be used to pop up light box and contact URL. Off canvas is now visible for you. We're going to click that. Click the spanner or wrench and we are now going to say close off canvas. OK, and we are now going to pick off canvas one. I know it's off canvas one because I only have one on the page. If I was to add in another, it would say off canvas too. So does that make sense to you what I'm doing? So I've now added in my X because some people might not realize to click on the overlay. You know, it's not crystal clear, is it? They open it and they go, oh, how do I close it? What, what, what do I do? And especially if you've got it, say, let's pretend right now, look at the mobile. Where's the overlay? There is no overlay because it's a certain width, right? So I would say having a close button would make perfect sense. Let's just go and hit update, go to our off, off, off canvas and close it down. Now inside of this container, and this could be your header template, it could be a section on your page, it could be anything like that. I'm going to go and drop in a heading, an icon and a button. And let's just move this over to the left because what I want to show you is that it doesn't matter what you use, you can summon that off canvas widget. Let's go to the heading. We're going to go to where we have the link dynamic tag, scroll down until we get to off canvas, span a wrench, open and pick off canvas one. Let's go to the icon. I mean, this is how quick and easy it is, right? You could change the icon. You could go for something like uh, bars like that. So if you wanted to stick it in your menu, go to link, scroll down to off canvas, span or wrench, open uh, off canvas, canvas number one. What about the button? Again, maybe you've got a button somewhere. That's going to open up a pop up template, but this time it's an off canvas widget so you can build it on the page, especially if like you start to forget about your branding or, well, should I use this style of font or did I have a border radius on my button and does it match the border radius in the pop up template? So rather than you going back and forth, go to link, go to off canvas, hit the spanner or the wrench, open off canvas, off canvas number one. Let's now view this on preview. So let's click the button. Boom, it's appeared. Notice it slid in. Let's now click the X. It's gone out. Let's now click that. Oh, it's appeared again. Oh, let's get rid of it. Let's click the heading. Oh, look at that. There's so many options for you, but it is super simple and easy. And it's over there. There it is. It's up there. And at any time you want to modify it, you either click it to open or just make sure you've kind of gone in and selected whether you are going to edit it or not. I probably did that a bit too quick, but I'm in Run Web Squadron version 3.22. This is a super feature. We did videos on it when it was beta testing. I'm so glad to see it come out. I still would have liked there to be a close button, but it's not the end of the world, right? If you want to have a close button, go and add in an icon and just make sure you've set it to close that particular off canvas and you're kind of done. Hey, I'm in Run Web Squadron. Go and check out our $1 business packs.
I'll see you soon.